Hillbilly DVD Reviews Unboxing Series. Today we have some more video game bullshit. I know I said we would never do this before, but since it's kind of based on a movie and has some movie merchandise within the packaging, I thought it might be interesting to go ahead and pop this open. This is the Tron Evolution game, Collector's Edition. This one's for PS3. This is basically a prequel to the Tron Legacy movie, so it's kind of like a game that takes place in between you know, Tron and Tron Legacy. Either way, it don't fucking matter because you're not here to see video game bullshit. But the reason I bought this, got this at Best Buy a week or two ago. They had a big summer game blowing. Originally, when this package came out, it was $129.99. You know, back when the movie came out two years ago, whenever. But I got it on sale for $9.99. And the reason I bought it, I do have a PS3 now. When I did the Kill Zone unboxing, I didn't even have a PS3 yet, but I do have a PS3 now, so, you know, it's cool, I'll play the game and everything, I don't mind that, but I really bought it for the movie-related goodies that are inside. So let's pop this fucker open and see what's going on. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's got a lot of, like, kind of shiny foil on the packaging, it's really fucking cool, even on the sides, like, some little places, it's like, nice, so you know how Tron is, man, they, it's all shiny CGI bullshit, and it's kind of interesting that they made the fucking box like that, too. The top kind of comes out here. Another box inside, all the shit is inside. Oh, here we go. Alright. Here we have the PS3 game, it's also 3D, just like the movie. So if you like little bullshit popping out, this also has similar to your packaging, you know, it's all shiny and shit. Very cool, can't wait to play it. Then, best of all, is there's some movie cash for $10 off to see Tron Legacy in theaters 12, 17, 10. Holy shit, I'm kind of late on that one, not going to be able to use that. But, here's why I bought this motherfucker for $9.99. It comes with a Tron cycle made by Sideshow Collectibles. Anybody knows about Sideshow Collectibles, they're really high-end collectible bullshit. Their figures and stuff cost hundreds of dollars, so when you can get kind of like a cheap, kind of knockoff Sideshow item, like this kind of stuff, it's really cool because you get it at a much lower price than, you know, you would if you bought one of their shit. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> I had some sticky jism. Tron Evolution little base here. For the video game, little display so you can display your light cycle. But the thing that I think is really cool about this it has a slide out tray. And the reason this is for keep your game in there. Is that fucking cool? You can keep weed in there too. I don't know if you remember back on Killzone, you could take the helmet apart, put some game in there. But I, I ended up putting weed and other fucking shit I didn't want people to find there. So put that in there, it's in the base. You know, nobody's gonna be able to steal your fucking game, trade it in GameStop for $2 or whatever. Keep your shit safe. Or just like I said, keep valuables in there, whatever the fuck you want to do. Here we have the Tron Light Cycle. Kind of got like a little doll baby guy. He kind of moves, but I don't know if you can take him off here. I don't see any instructions on here. So there's the Tron Evolution little standy thing. with You know, it looks nice once you put the dome and shit on it and you got the little guy in there. Looks like a nice collectible piece. Definitely worth the 10 bucks I pay for it. Plus, you know, you got the fucking PS3 game here. So I'll be playing that shit as well. So that's it for the Tron Evolution video game set. Um, if you're one of the people who got on it for fucking $9.99 for Best Buy, fucking cool. If not, you know, sorry if you paid $130 for it. Maybe you just don't give a fuck. Maybe you just a long time ago, you decided you was a grown up, you was a big boy, and you didn't need Tron in your life. But hey, sorry, man. Sometimes, you know, there ain't a lot of shit that I nerd out for, but I do like fucking Tron. What can I say? I'm a child of the 80s.